Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials, I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about a static nested class. I'm going to open up my web browser to my website, javacjava.com, and select begin. I'm going to scroll all the way down here to the static nested class tutorial. Now the static nested class is one of the four nested classes that I briefly discussed in my introduction to nested classes tutorial. A static nested class is defined at the member level and must have the static um, in the declaration, keyword static in the declaration. Right, so in this particular class right here, standard, right, this is our member, this is a member variable string s instance variable right there. And this is a static class, nest, you know, static nested here, and here's one of its member variables there. Now the first thing to understand about a nested static class is that you do not need an instance of either the outer class or the nested static class in order to access its members. You can directly access static members and variables without creating an object. If you would like to create an instance of a nested static class, you do not need to create an instance of the outer class in order to do so. Okay. Now you'll notice the outer class is not static, right? Um, there's no such thing. You can't really apply static to an outer class anyway, right? So, but you'll be able to access the methods and, and um, variables of a static inner class, nested static class there, I should say, um, without even creating an object. I'll show you both ways of doing that. So now here's some rules for the static nested class. They're a little bit more simple than the other nested classes. So a static nested class can access all static members of the outer class, even private. A static nested class can have all levels of access applied except for private, right? So you can have public, default, or protected. Um, a static nested class can be final or abstract. I don't know why you would want to, but you can. Now a static nested class can extend other classes and implement interfaces. All right, let's go ahead and come down here to the source code and highlight it. Hit Control C to copy or right click and select copy. I'm going to move my browser off screen. I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop and you can create one really fast if you don't have one by right clicking selecting new shortcut. CMD next and finish. It's just that easy. If you're new, coming in just new to my tutorials, first thing you want to do is type in Java C when you open up the command prompt. You should see all this stuff scroll by. If you receive an error message, watch my tutorial on installing and configuring the Java development kit. And make sure you get that done and done properly before continuing. CLS clear the screen CD space backslash CD is short for change directory backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm going to make a directory here called Java using the MD command. I already have that folder, but if you don't, I'll create one for you. I'll change directories to the Java folder. I'm going to make a directory here called uh, static nested class. And then we'll change directories to the static nested class folder. And I'm going to notepad uh, tester.java. Normally I'd call it static nested class or .java, but just to avoid confusion on stuff, I'm just going to call it tester. It'll contain the main method. All right, let's go ahead and do control V to paste or right click and select paste. Okay, so what we'll first thing I'll do is come up here and save this here. So in, um, I got this class outer here, right? With this instance variable s, called outer s. You'll notice this one is not static. And then below here, I've got this class variable, right? Remember, a class variable is a, has the static word applied to it. That's the difference between an instance variable and a class variable. Um, and I've even applied private just to show you that we can still access it from within the, the static nested class. So here's our static nested class, and I call it static nested. And I've got this static string nested s right here, and I've got display, this static method display s right here. And it will simply display to the console s, which it will display this one instead of this one. And then t, right, and t it will display outer t as well, right, because it can it can access these variables that it's nested inside of there, okay? Um, and then I'm going to show you how we can display this S out here by creating a new outer object and then just, you know, the dot operator to access the, the S variable out here, okay? 
So the, the easiest way to do this with static stuff is not to even create an instance, just outer dot static nested dot display us to directly invoke the display us method there. All right, so let's go ahead and save this here. I'm gonna clear our screen. I'm gonna type in Java C tester and compile that. And I'm gonna type in directory just to show you what it did here. So the compiler created outer and then dollar sign static nested dot class and then outer dot class tester dot class tester.java. So fairly simple on that there. This looks similar to what you'd see on the inner class there, but um, you know, really as far as it goes about being a member about it is merely just, you know, using namespace basically like outer dot static nested syntax on that. All right, let's go ahead and clear our screen and run this run tester. Okay, and we get um, of course the first one S, which will display nested S, and that did it up there, and then T, which displayed outer T, right? So we can still see the, the members of the outer class out here from within the static uh, nested class here. And then of course, we can also use the S by creating a new object outer, right? New instance of outer, and then dot S. So for example, if I was to go ahead and just like uncomment this here, right? Um, it can see us. It can definitely see this, but it can't access it because, you know, just like any other static method or static, a static method, I should say, um, a static method can't, cannot see a non-static um, variable, right? A non-static instance variable, you know, that's not well, an instance variable wouldn't be within the method there, but, you know, a non-local thing there is what I'm basically trying to say there. Right, so it'll see it, but because it's not static, we're gonna get an error message that it, you know, it's, it can't. Well, you'll see. All right, Java C, let's compile that again. So it's gonna say non-static variable S cannot be referenced from a static context, right? So it can, it can definitely see it, but you know, because it isn't static, it, uh, there's nothing it can do, do with it there, right? But um, this syntax it has no problem with create a new outer object, right? And then we can just simply access that easily there like that. So that's that's fairly straightforward on that. Um, I'll go ahead and just uncomment that back in there and come up here and save. Clear our screen, recompile, rerun. Okay. All right. So um, so this would be by far the the. I mean, if you're going to create a static class here, you know, I mean, that's just, uh, that's that's the way to, to really kind of invoke stuff or, you know, do whatever you're going to do with it there. Um, if you really want to create an instance of it, let's go ahead and comment this here. Um, creating an instance of it is very similar to declaring the reference variable like we would on an inner class where you have to say outer dot static nested. And that's because... Um, Right, the class is outer dollar sign static nested dot class, right? So this is the actual static nested, nested byte code right here. This is the byte code for the outer class, right? So we do have to use the dot, the namespace. This is more or less a namespace, right, at this point, right? That we're, that we're saying, okay, this is a static nested type, right? OS and then new outer dot static nested. You'll notice we didn't have to, we don't have to do something like this, like create a new outer object and then a new static, right? It's just more of a namespace technicality than anything. So that'll create us a new um, static nested object right there. And then OS, and then we can invoke the display S on that if we choose to do it this particular way. Let's clear our screen and recompile. And right. Okay, so there basically we get the same, same end result, right? It uh, doesn't make a whole lot of sense making an object out of it, but if you needed to or wanted to or whatever, you know, that's that's perfectly fine. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this and get rid of that. And that's really about all I got for this tutorial. Not uh, not a whole lot of extra rules or weird stuff that you got to invoke or, you know, stick in between some sort of parameter or something like the anonymous classes and the inner classes and the method. Um, the method dash inner class there. So, but anyway, um, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.